this is the colloidal gold uh, experiment. This is the uh, water I've not distilled, 500 mils. This is the acid that I made in the nitric acid experiment. Uh, not nitric acid, but um, if you look closely, you can see it is fuming, and uh, so it's a pretty strong acid. Uh, I used that to make this, which is the dissolved gold, not gold chloride probably, but um, ne nevertheless gold in solution. So this is the um, sodium citrate. We will add that, that to the thing later. Okay, we have the water sitting on top of a magnetic stirrer, so we're just going to drop in a spin bar. Just get it going a bit. The water is actually, there's a heater on this as well, so it's, the water is actually heating as we speak. And you're feeling a bit warm. So now I'm going to put some gold in there. Now, uh, it says to put two millilitres of, of the gold chloride, but as I don't know what the concentration of this is, I'm going to put that four millilitres. Um, you might notice that it goes a little bit cloudy uh, just for a few second. That's just, it, it, it's uh, effervescing, it's sort of fizzing up. Uh, so obviously I've got lots of pollutants in this. Now I'm going to add the uh, sodium citrate. Uh, I've got 15 grams here, it's diluted 40 ml of water. Mm. Mm. Well, that's a bit of a quick reaction, I wasn't expecting that. I'm very dark. We might have done something wrong here because that's a bit too quick. As you can see, after a couple of minutes, this has turned into like a black soup, which definitely doesn't seem right. Okay, six minutes have passed and uh, it's gone a bit lighter, uh, maybe a tinge of red if we use our imagination. Still not working for that. So we'll see what we get. Well, uh, I did. I had a little bit more sodium citrate, and uh, I think that was wrong. There's some black powder precipitating out of this now. You can see it's almost gone clear. But, uh, if you look at the uh, spin bar, there's all black all over it. Uh, got a feeling this is uh, a bit of a disaster, really. <laughs> Well, it seems like I um, mucked up on the sodium citrate. It was 1.5 grams, not 15 grams. And it seems like it's the sodium citrate that has actually knocked the gold out of uh, solution and precipitated out of this black soot at the bottom. So we'll redo the experiment and uh, see if we can get it right. OK, just take two. I've uh, got the water ready. Uh, put some uh, gold solution into it. Just hope we're going to put less uh, sodium nitrate in this one. So let's just hope it's not the gold that's causing the problem. So we've got roughly 1.5 grams of sodium citrate solution but unfortunately my scales aren't very good so it could be a little bit more we'll see well there's a bit of luck it hasn't gone black straight away which is what we want uh, so let's see what happens to this one so this is the precipitate from the first flask uh, after I decanted it you can see at the bottom here uh, it's all like a black soot Okay, returning to our second attempt, 
Uh, you can see I'm putting some paper behind there. There's a nice blue colour coming into the fluid. Um, just going according to plan. We'll, we'll return to this in a few more minutes and see how it's going. Here we are, six minutes into the boil, and a uh, lovely red colour showing, so I assume we've got a result. It's looking good. After 10 minutes, the uh, colour's got light open. Um, I, I think we've got a result here, I call it a colloidal gold. There's no precipitation. Okay, as you can see, this is the two attempts at the experiment. On the right here, we've got the uh, failed one. And it's, you can see the, it's precipitated there. If you look closer, you, know, I think you can see the soot down the bottom there. On the left here, we've got a uh, well, partially successful one. Red colour, little, little precipitate. You can see the top of the spin bar there, it's still white. Um, I wouldn't try this because I've used a lot of uh, unknown products in it. But, uh, Looks like we got a result.